Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm actually in the midst of driving, but I'm stuck behind a train and I didn't want to be late for work, even though I am. So I wanted to put out this video while I was waiting for this train to go by and it looks like they just stopped dead in its track. So I have a little bit of time, but anyways, um, I was, I was thinking about, um, some words that were said on a podcast that I was just listening to and it was about, um, you know, your own limiting beliefs, what you can do and what you can't do. And, um, it kind of brought me back to when I had decided well, there's two events in my life that I had to really make a big decision. And one of them was to get divorced. So I, I was divorced and um, <clears throat> to leave him was basically um, a really big decision. I had to really listen to myself. Um, so just kind of a background story. Um, my, my first husband was somebody that was totally not for me. And I, I realize that now. I think I, deep down I knew that he wasn't but everyone else knew too. And so me being so stubborn, I stayed with him to prove them wrong, that this guy was someone that was good for me and he wasn't in the end. And anyways, um, so I had to make the decision to A, you know, go against everybody's thoughts about this person that I was with. Now, I guess that's the first, that's, that was the first life-changing decision because I broke a lot of relationships that way. Um, and um, yeah, I really had to stick to my guns because I was that stubborn. Uh, the second one was to actually divorce him. So <laughs> that was hard because of course, I'd be mid admitting in the end that I was um, A, not happy when I've, you know, admitted that I was happy this whole time when I really wasn't. Um, but B, um, you know, divorce is such a, well, I don't know. It was a taboo word. Now it's maybe something that's normal. Um, but anyways, you know, I was af afraid of disappointing my family and my friends and, and my parents. And then of course, you know, that whole, you know, what am I going to do now? I'm, I don't even know how old I was. I think I was maybe 33, 34. And, you know, I wanted a family at the time, right? And so I had to really restart over again and get back into the dating field and, and not know where that would bring me, right? But at that point in my life, I was definitely um, not ready to jump into the next relationship. So it's not like it was, oh God, I got to have a husband now. I wasn't there. I was more or less just trying to find myself. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the third thing was, is that I... Um, I, I had to really come to terms with deciding that um, I didn't want kids, but that was pretty easy because, you know, I have a husband who's, um, who's super supportive and, and I found out that he, he didn't really want kids. So we were just going through the motions of trying to have kids because, well, that was expected, right? You get married, you have kids. Mm. And, you know, with kids everywhere and uh, just being, you know, a, a really big focus for a lot of families, it was something that I thought I had to have as well. Now, I'm not saying I didn't want kids. Like, there was a time when I wanted five kids. Like, yeah, I wanted a family. But that was so long ago. That was when I was a kid myself. And so um, making these decisions about these three big decisions in my life and then of course all these other little decisions you know sprinkled in there um i really had to come to terms with why i made certain decisions and why i didn't make certain decisions and basically i came to the point where i really cared too much about what other people thought now this is going to be you know kind of uh an everlasting theme to a lot of my videos if you notice but it's something that a lot of people struggle with and they don't even know it see that's the thing they don't even know that they struggle with it they think they make decisions because they want it but really when you dig into why certain people want certain things and make decisions it's because maybe they were taught at a young age to make that kind of decision or to believe certain things right and I'm not saying it's limiting I mean, my title says your limiting beliefs might tell you you're, you think too much about what other people think, but think about this. So you think about, um, and I'm not saying everyone's like this, but I've seen this happen. You know, people, people really, really want to be happy, right? But they convince themselves, well, if they're happy, I'm happy. And, and that's great. You know, that's a very giving, giving mentality, but is that true? Do you really come into this world 
to make people happy? Or do you come into this world to live up to a potential? And, you know, inadvertently make people happy that way because, you know, you're you, right? You're a beautiful person. You should be living up to your potential. When you tell yourself, I'm happy if you're happy, you're limiting your potential to be happy or to be yourself or to whatever it is that you're supposed to be in life to somebody else's feelings. That doesn't make any sense right? So, I mean, maybe it's not as cut and dry as that when people say that, but people say that all the time, you know, I'll be happy when, <coughs> I'm happy if, um, if, I'm happy if, like that, even that, just that statement, I'm happy if. Not many people say, I'm happy because, right? And, and if they say, I'm happy because somebody else is happy, that's still a limiting belief. I'm happy because I lived up to my potential in this. I'm happy because I wanted to take, I don't know, piano lessons, and I did it. I'm happy because I took piano lessons, I discovered I don't like piano lessons, or I don't like piano, and I'm good with that, right? But too many people don't even take that step to say, I'm going to take piano lessons. No, it's going to be, I don't maybe have the time or it's not in me or my fingers are too short or I like my long nails, but deep down they actually want to learn something like that. Now that's a very like very basic example about limiting beliefs. But the next time you decide that you wanted to try something different that maybe you felt that other people might not understand, that's a limiting belief. When you don't follow your dreams, when you enter into a new territory, be it your, pers you know, your personal life, your, um, you know, your, the things you like to do, um, work, you know, work. How many of us are stuck in a job where we feel like um, it's just you get up and it's just a habit, like it's a habit to go to work. I mean, I get that. It's a habit to get up in the morning. It's a habit to get ready for work. It's a habit to be at work. Maybe everybody's work is different every day. For me, it's pretty much the same. How many of us have ever explored the idea of, is this all I have? Where am I being challenged here? Or where am I actually getting true happiness from what I'm doing for a living? And so I would challenge all of you guys to really look at the things that you said no to in the past, be it an experience or a lesson or a job, you know, even just a movie or, you know, a person that you didn't really want to hang out with, but maybe don't even understand why you don't want to hang out with them. I would challenge you to look back on those kind of decisions and ask yourself why you made those decisions. And then on the other side, ask yourself why you made the decisions that brought to where you are today and where you are now. <clears throat> because I bet you, if you're my age, and if we're, if you know where I'm at, and maybe, maybe you do have kids, and that's totally fine. Like that's like I, I applaud you. Like you know, I wish, I wish that maybe part of me would move on, but at the same time, I do not regret my decision because there's just so many things that that are out there as well for me. And so somebody might think that, oh, she's being selfish. Why wouldn't she want to have kids? Why would she want to have all that time to herself? Or why, why wouldn't she want to give back to the world by, you know, creating another human being? Or she just wants to keep all that money and time to herself and she doesn't want to, you know what I mean? Like I could be thinking that that's what other people are thinking and have kids for that reason. And that's wrong. That's wrong. And I'm not saying that that's how it is for kids. I get it. Like, I, I, I see that there's a, a, a fulfillment to have kids, a life fulfillment to have kids, because I wanted them too. But it didn't make sense at the time when it was, you know, perfect for me, you know, to, to have a, a husband um, and be in a financially stable position. At that time, it didn't make sense because there were just so much other things that I really wanted to do. And sometimes kids aren't for everybody, right? Because sometimes people don't want to raise their own kids, whatever that reason is. But at least they decided, right? They didn't do it because someone told them that they shouldn't do it. I think too many people say you should have kids, 
for whatever reason. Now, this is not a rant about having kids, okay? Anyway, so I just want to put that out there. Um, it looks like the, the train is moving. I don't think it's going anywhere fast. In fact, I'll, I'll be definitely late. So whoever's watching, if you're at work, I am stuck behind a train. Um, anyways, um, I want to put that out there. I hope um, you guys think about that. And think about all those things you've ever wanted to do or not do. And stop thinking about what other people would think about you if you made those decisions. Because you know what? They're too busy thinking about themselves anyways. They're probably not watching you. Right? They're probably not watching you. So just focus on yourself. Focus on those people who love you, um, who support you 100%. Trust yourself. Trust yourself to make those decisions for yourself because God brought us onto this earth to live a certain potential. Are you living up to that potential? Ask yourself that. Are you living up to that potential or that, that vision that you see yourself and hold yourself up to? Are you living up to that? Because if you are, that's awesome. I'd love to meet you. I know I'm not. I know there's so many other things in the world that I want to do. But if you aren't and you're like me, think about it. Think about all those decisions you make every day that can make you um, the person you want to be. Anyways, have a great rest of your week. I got you all. Bye-bye.